Hello everyone. My name is Corentin Troussard from RTCS, French specialist of underwater acoustics. And today we are going to talk about embedded processing and especially real-time detection of marine mammals and other specific events in an embedded system. But first, let's have a quick word about who we are. RTCS is a French company founded in 2010 and part of a group relying on no more than 40 years of experience. Since 2018, we opened a second office in Singapore, in Asia, and we now have a worldwide network of distributors. The company employs 35 people and has always been driven by innovation. Hence, more than 20 of us are engineers or PhDs with expertise in different fields like mechanics, robotics, embedded electronics, software, and acoustic signal processing. That expertise has made of RTCs one of the world leaders in several activities such as anti-submarine warfare, mine counter measures, autonomous underwater vehicles, and of course, passive acoustics monitoring. Our solutions are now used all around the world for various applications by the best navies, the main research institutes, and industry leaders in the oil and gas field, as well as for offshore construction monitoring. Now let's go back to today's topic and start with an inventory of current technologies, namely underwater recorders and their detection features. Today, the majority of underwater acoustic recorders are deployed as totally autonomous devices, which often result in huge amount of data to post-analyze. This can be a very long and painful process. From that observation, we developed a pre-processing tool, which consists of up to eight triggers you can select when configuring the mission. You just have to select your thresholds in dBs and the frequency range you're interested in. Rising and falling times stands for the minimum time of acquisition for a certain level to be considered as relevant. Then you can ask the device to record only when the thresholds are, are overpassed or still record everything on markdown the time of the events. That can be useful, but still requires post-processing to analyze accurately the sound. And as the description of the thresholds remains quite large, we may face false detection and miss impulsive sounds or clicks. In the meantime, we also developed voice solution able of wireless data transmission like Wi-Fi, radio, 4G, or e radio. The idea here is to have an embedded processing and send processed data to the survey vessel or to the shore. This was typically used in the frame of offshore wind farm construction with two main focus, the presence or not of mammals in the area and monitoring the produced level of noise by piling activity with regards to the maximum allowed by the regulations. And this is a kind of user interface you get on board of the survey vessel. This displays sound levels as well as spectrograms and histograms focused on two specific frequency bands, corresponding to the main frequency bands of vocalization of specific species. But again, that's not very accurate. Here, we are looking at the frequency only and not at a proper signature. This leads us to the AutoC project, conduced in partnership with French company Suez and Somme between 2017 and 2019. The first phase of the project started in spring 2017. We installed a recorder on the mast of a buoy with solar panels on 4G connections for long-term monitoring. It embedded basic detection algorithm that we improved little by little using random forest method. The 4G connections allowed to update the algorithm and test the new functions very easily. In June 2018, after a bit more than one year in the water, we succeeded to get a robust system, and we were able to detect automatically boats, dolphins, specific fishes, and bentos. We compared the results obtained by the algorithm with a database of around 10,000 identified sounds and obtained the success rate in brackets. 
On the right is an example of correlation between the spectrogram, the number of boats detected, and the measured sound exposure level. In October 2019, we launched the second phase of the project. It consists of a buoy equipped with several sensors and with the objective to be able to make correlations between different descriptors. There is obviously acoustic monitoring, but also weather station and multi-parameter probe logging several parameters. In the end, the fully equipped system gathers 38 environmental descriptors. The boy has been deployed near Ajaxo in the south of France, close to a fish farm with the objective to monitor the fish reaction to different kinds of events, like presence of mammals or human activity. And here is the results displayed in a specific website. The user here is able to configure pretty much everything. You can generate the graphs you want, you can remove and add parameters, change the time frame and the scales, and much more. It's also possible to export the data in Excel files. You can configure alerts to receive an email or even text message on your phone. As an example, we could, for instance, set an alert as soon as a mammal is detected and receive the date and time of the detection. The boy is also able to stream the data to an embedded computer, and you can totally imagine to have Palm Guard software running on that computer. Something we didn't have the opportunity to test yet is a setup like this one, with a network of boys running together, and that we expect to be an helpful tool to follow up a specific mammal as it's moving in the area. Successive detections and variation in received levels should make trajectography analysis easier. That solution being very flexible, we can consider various applications. First one is monitoring the animal's behavior and their reaction to external events. For instance, in our project, it's been highlighted that the presence of boats makes the fish produce less noise, probably due to some kind of stress. And in that case, they seem to eat less than usual, so the fishermen are now considering to feed them using only paddle boats. Other application could be monitoring the vessel traffic. Typically, we discovered an unexpected application in preventing poaching. Indeed, the farm where we installed the buoy suffered from fish disappearing, and the buoy allowed to prove that a specific boat came on a regular basis during the night, likely to steal some fishes. Finally, we have more and more requests to monitor offshore and coastal works, with focus on the compliance to regulations, but also focusing on the impact on marine fauna. Thank you again for your interest in our company and our products. Please do not hesitate to contact me directly. May you have any question or specific project you would like to discuss?